dum da da dum da da dum da da Oh wow. No dumping. Oh baby. There it is. Dun 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 Oh dun 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 Where's the chapel at? somewhere around here. I am not driving while doing this. I have my cell phone in a cell phone holder. I'm not an idiot. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, wow, wow. This is Mecca for me, man. This is Mecca. I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you. Dun 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 dun. Oh. Oh, where the hell I'm freaking going? I would ask this woman for directions, but I don't want to bother her. She. Doing her thing. Where is the chapel? Dun 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 dun. Oh, I think that's the chapel. It's actually really small. Really, really small. Dun 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 dun. No, no. Uh, hmm. <gasps> Blair! Holy shit, that's it. Is that it? Could that be it? No way. I'm just gonna pull over here. So here we are uh, at Evan City Cemetery. Um, this is where the opening of Night of Living Dead was shot. And here we are 50 years later. And this is really frigging cool. It's just, uh, I don't know. There, there's some, it's incredible. I think this over here is where Bill Heinzman, the cemetery zombie, must have been walking up, shuffling, shuffling up this way. Uh, and apparently a lot of the trees that used to be here were knocked down in 1985 during a really big storm. And so, yeah, this is a pretty special place. It's really quiet. They're doing the Living Dead, like, festival this weekend, and they're screening the brand new 4K edition of uh, Night of the Living Dead. Um, in Evan City, right down this hill over here, and um, I'm on my way to the Nightmares Film Festival in Columbus. But I had to stop here. Uh, this is like, this is like a mecca. You know what I mean? It's like, a, it's like a filmmaker's mecca. At least for me, because I love Night of the Living Dead so much. It's such an an important film to me. I saw it when I was 10 years old at a neighbor's house and it just uh, really means a lot. I was like, I have to make an effort to come out here and be in the place. George Romero was here 50 years ago, shooting right here. That's the Blair tombstone. Yes, Nathan, I am armed with deadly quips that will send all the zombies to the burn unit. It's the Blair tombstone, man. That is just... Whew, that is something. And somebody has left one of these. Can I touch this? Am I not allowed? This is like one of the things that um, that they place on the grave. I'm sure this is not for the coals. I'm sh I bet you this is. This was put here 
by somebody. See, that's the that's the thing. I bet you that's that's put there by a fan of the movie because a lot of people come up here. So that's pretty. That's pretty awesome. That's uh, Johnny and Barbara's uh, mother's grave. And they're, I guess they're standing right here, and that's where the, the cemetery zombie comes up. And then I think Johnny puts his arm right here, you know, uh, puts his arm right here. He's like, he's like standing right here by the uh, Blair tombstone. And back there is the other one. I know that there's like a shot. You can see that one? It's like, it's like that. He's like, they're like standing there. He's like, why do we have to get, you know, we have to bring one of these things to Mother's Grave. I bet you they steal it. They steal it and then they, they uh, bring it, you know, they, they resell it to us every year. What a, what a friggin' uh, scam. And, and Barbara's like, oh, Johnny, we, you know, we got to pay respects to our mom. And she puts down, she puts it down right here. She's like, boom. And then, um, you know, Johnny starts fucking with his sister. She's like, they're coming to get you, Barbara. They're coming to get you, Barbara. They're coming. And then they see him. He's walking. And he's like, look, there's one of them now. He's walking. And he comes up and he fights her. But where does he hit his head? Um, maybe, maybe one of these guys over here. Or one of these guys. It was a low-hanging one. I think it was a low-hanging grave tombstone. Does anybody know? Let's back around. He like hits his head. It's definitely not that one, but he hits his head somewhere on the stone. He cracks his head open and then Barbara runs. And I wonder if that is the act the forest. Is this where she runs? She runs into the car. The car goes backwards. But they must have filmed that somewhere else. Mm. Did they, like, go down to these woods over here? Because the car falls backwards down the woods. I mean, obviously they shot this in piecemeal. No, definitely not. Definitely not. We can, we can rule that out. They must have shot that somewhere. You know, I wish Bob O'Rourke was here. I know he's going to be here later. I might be with him on Sunday at the Monroeville Mall, uh, making a pilgrimage to the uh, Dawn of the Dead stuff that's going to be going on. They're doing all these events, um, celebrate the 50th anniversary and uh, screening the new restoration, which I'm going to be watching on Halloween, of course. I can think of no better way to spend Halloween. So yeah, wow. Yeah, I wish I knew where the car rolled backwards. You know, I, I probably could look it up on the, uh, on the interwebs. But, uh, yeah, this place is really friggin' special. And, you know, it goes to show, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that you don't need to be in L.A. You don't need to be in New York City. You don't need to be anywhere to make a movie. If you want to make a movie, all, everything you need is right here. It's right here. You will find a way, you know. George Romero and Image 10, they were just like, we need to find, we're going to make a, a movie. And they got together and they shot, you know, they shot where they lived and they, they created this phenomenon. And now people make pilgrimages. 50 years later, people come out here for festivals and screenings and to pay their respects, you know, to the location. And, you know, I got to meet the Cemetery Zombie years ago, about 10 years ago. It was pretty cool. And uh, also John Russo. Um... But yeah, you know, um, and it was, I guess it was some advice that I took to heart too, because I just, you know, as a filmmaker, I made a movie right where I lived. You know, I, I just, I was like, I'm going to make a movie right in White Plains, you know, and it's not, it's not no Night of Living Dead, but you know, I'm just mean like, you know, just, you don't have to move. You don't have to go anywhere to make a movie. You can just make a movie where you are. You know, you could do the Robert Rodriguez thing and, and take what you have and write a script around it or, you know, uh, just get creative. And, hey, what's up, Todd? I'm at the Night of Living Dead Cemetery. Um, recognize this? Hey, Todd. Whoa! 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 <laughs> it's 
the perfect time. Perfect time to be here in October, you know? You know, maybe if I look around, I might see some misfits knocking over tombstones. I hope Corey Rusk releases that video someday. It needs to be seen by the world. Really, truly. Really, really, truly. But, um, yeah, getting back to the filmmaking thing, you know. Yeah, I don't know why. I just feel like, you know, this place, like, it, you know, there's, like, energy here. It makes me want to, like, go out and just friggin', that's right. They're coming to get me. I just did that. I just reenacted that scene. You know, the trees got knocked down, but I, like, sort of went over here. I was like, they're coming to get... Wait, I can do this really well, actually. They're coming to get you, Barbara. They're coming. They're coming to get you, Barbara. They're coming to get you. Johnny, don't do that. You're scaring me, Johnny. They're coming, Barbara. They're coming. Look, there's one of them now. Johnny, don't say that. Don't say that, Johnny. The end. <sighs> Yeah, this place is going to be uh, crowded tomorrow. There's going to be a lot of people here for the festival. The Living Dead Festival. It was so out of my way, but I had to drive here. I had to do it. I had to do it. Um, so yeah. If you want to do something, if you want to be creative, if you want to make a movie, you just got to go out there and fucking do it. What's up, Uncle Joel? You just got to go out there and make a movie. You know, because you never know. It could be a Night of the Living Dead. Blair. It could be Night of the Living Dead. And, um, yeah, there's some cool black and white photographs, I think, of this road, too. And you see George. You see George, like, you know, crouched like this with his camera. And uh, you see uh, Judy, Judith, whatever her face is, uh, and Bill Heinzman and Rush Strainer. And... Yeah, I'm just so glad to be here. There's really not much more to say or do here. Uh, I think I've gotten as much enjoyment as one could get out of a solitary location by themselves. And I'm sure who's ever the gravekeeper is like, what is this fucking weirdo doing? What can I say? I'm a weirdo. But, uh, oh, you know what? Perhaps, perhaps it's possible that this is where the car rolled down in Night of Living Dead. They shot, they shot this way. They shot all this this way. And then she runs. She's running, 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 running. She runs this way to the car. The car is parked on this side of the road. I really should have watched. I could, I could just go on YouTube. It's not on YouTube. And then they reverse the car back down this hill. Or maybe even into this tree. I wonder if it says it. Yes! What is that? Oh no, that's like mold or something. I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah. Maybe they rolled it back into this. It's amazing that they were able to shoot all that, all those stunts. Maybe they did it at another location. And I guess this is the chapel right here. Does this look about right? The car rolls into this tree, and then she runs down into those woods. I, I am almost positive she runs down into those woods. I don't know for a fact, but I think she... Barbara then's like, oh, oh. She's running, 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 running. She goes right down there. I don't know. Yeah, makes sense to me. They should do. They should do a screening here in the cemetery somehow. I don't know if that's allowed, um, but I think that would be cool if they did a screening. It makes a lot of sense. They did. I know Alamo did Jaws in rubber tubes on the water. In the water. Yeah, check out these gnarly woods. Is this where Barbara ran? I said this was like Mecca Nate. Duh. 
Listen, I drove all the way out here, so you don't ever have to drive out here. I mean, you could if you wanted to, but you don't ever have to come out here, because I went out here. Came all the way out here, I did a video about it, you know? So you can, like, live vicariously, you know? Does this make sense? Did Barbara run through these woods and come out? I don't know. Look at that. Somebody left a wreath. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Boy. So, if you're ever thinking about making a movie or doing something creative with art, you should just do it. Do it right where you are. The only thing that's stopping you from doing it is yourself. You just gotta pick up your camera, or your paintbrush, or your guitar, and you just gotta go, I'm gonna make something. And maybe it will be a night, something like Night of the Living Dead. That's very nice. They come here frequently. I see a lot of pennies on top of these tombstones, too. I wonder what that's all about. Is it kind of like the Jewish tradition of putting rocks on the top of the tombstones? I don't know. I really don't know. They put them right up top here. I gotta tell you though, <laughs> uh, see all the pennies and things. I, I, I really must say though, this is to me seeing that there that someone put a wreath like the the this thing that she uses in the movie. It's like obligatory. It's like there. It just makes me have you. Oh shit! Did someone. Oh, I thought that was a broken piece of tombstone. The Sleepy Hollow. Cemetery has a couple damaged tombstones like that. Uh, I'm gonna say that this place is amazing and magical and magnetic. And it's funny because we're really elevated. We're on a hill right now. But in the movie, you get no sense of being so high up on a hill. Um, but I'm gonna say that the Sleepy, Hollow, ho bleh, the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery is the coolest cemetery out there in the world. In all of the United States. I've been to quite a few. Um, it is the most atmospheric, wonderful cemetery. Um, but this, this has some magic to it as well. Yeah, so I'm going to sign off now. I got a long drive to Columbus, Ohio to go to the Nightmare Film Festival where Romeo's Distress, my film, is going to play. We're nominated for Best Screenplay for a feature. Out of five out of 25 films, that's pretty badass, man. And one of those films is Tom Holland's newest feature in 22 years. To be nominated right next to Tom Holland, a guy whose movies I've been watching, you know, since I was old enough to rent at a video store or whatever. Oh, maybe that's not true. It might be an exaggeration. But that, that feels like an accomplishment. I feel good about that. I'm not trying to humble brag or whatever. I'm like genuinely I feel good about that. That feels good to me. And just to be nominated is to win no matter what. We've already won. We won by getting selected. We won by getting a nomination. Now I'm ready to get the fucker out. I want to just get it out. I want to get distributed. I want to work on the next movie. Sex Crime. Yeah, that's what it's called. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep the title, but I'm working. That's the working title. I think it's really good, really marketable. Sex crime. You know, in like neon pink letters. That's uh, pretty insane. So, okay. I guess, huh? You do have, yes, yes, this is the second nomination. We have one win for best screenplay. Uh, at the Macabre Fair Film Festival, um, and so that that's saying something. That's a that's a testament to the story. Whether it's uh, <laughs> whether it was slapped together in the edit or not, that's a testament to the story that people think it's good enough to be no to nominate it. So it's it's cool, man. It's really really cool. But you can't rest on laurels like that. You got to go out there. I got to make another movie. It's time. It's time. Yo, what's up, Bob? How you doing? I'm in uh, Evans City right now at the uh, Night of the Living Dead Cemetery. It's pretty badass. See that? It's pretty crazy. That's where they shot Night of the Living Dead. 
go online, you can see all the screenshots. You should come on, Alamo is playing, listen, the Alamo, I don't know if it's sold out, but the Alamo is playing it on Halloween at 7.30, uh, the new 4K restoration. So that's how I'm spending my Halloween after I take my son trick-or-treating and after trick-or-treaters come to uh, the house. So you should join me. Um, yeah. That's about it. Oh, somebody's here. I hear something. I heard shots. You know, I was down down a ways taking a piss because I didn't want to pee here because I thought it'd be really, you know, I don't want to pee in a graveyard. Super disrespectful. You could shoot a movie in a graveyard. You can hang out in a graveyard. Do not defecate or pee in a graveyard. Not cool. It's not cool. Uh, but I heard shots. It's really fucked up. All right. I got I to gotta go. I really, I got to get, get a show on the road. You know, I got to get there uh, tonight is Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and Adam Green's uh, Hatchet movie, Victor Crowley, and tomorrow morning is Romeo's Distress at the Blood Break Feast uh, at the Nightmares Film Festival with free coffee and donuts, uh, uh, graciously and generously provided by uh, Jason and the crew at Nightmares Film Festival. Uh, those dudes are awesome, and I can't wait to meet all of them and meet all the other filmmakers. <coughs> okay. Goodbye.